Thank you for joining us, uh, Grant. Now, talking to us about Energy Africa, this is a big buzzword that you know we just launched last week. So, how are we going to be funding this? And and you did mention there's 14 countries are going to be involved in. That's right. Well, Energy Africa is the United Kingdom government's plan to really help to boost kind of energy access for people uh, in some of the poorest parts of the world, um, and particularly in Africa, where two thirds of people, so literally two out of three people, have no power at home. And that makes it impossible to develop without electricity. So Energy Africa is the solution. It's based around, for example, solar energy. Um, in terms of who's going to fund it, well, actually, the people whose homes are uh, being uh, lit. Uh, by mobile phone payments, micropayments, they'll pay for the electricity and actually pay for the equipment at the same time. So it's not like usual aid development uh, spending. Uh, actually, the people who are using the electricity will be paying for it. But it's significantly cheaper, of course, much safer than the things they're using at the moment, like kerosene. Yeah, you did mention he's I mean, he targeting people who are pretty much earning dollar twenty-five and living on that pretty much. But uh, in terms of these people, used to travel two hours to get things charged up so now we're really targeting this so how is this distribution network going to work and how are we going to get provide them the right access to the need well of course the idea is to develop this and deliver it commercially so we see here today actually at this uh, exhibition uh, a lot of companies with really innovative products and they're getting out there into the marketplaces some of the most remote distant places on earth um, you know remote villages which will never see an electricity grid and these companies are working out their own distribution networks so that might be going through some you know existing distribution channels for example local suppliers who supply other products it could be supplying the diesel or the kerosene instead will supply the solar equipment um, there are all sorts of different routes to, to market as it were but the important thing is it's not like traditional aid this is getting the market to work people paying for the power and therefore companies coming in and delivering it. It's the, by far and away the fastest way to get electricity to everybody. At the moment, if we do what we're doing at the moment, um, Africa won't have electricity everywhere till 2080. It's too long. We want to deliver it in the next 15 years and that's what Energy Africa is all about. Okay, so how are we going to govern this sector? Because obviously you're going to provide a, a very large business interest to massive international corporations, or even if it's startups, you know, they're controlling the monopoly and governing this, 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 this sector. Well, that's where the, the United Kingdom, um, the, the Department for International Development, working with um, different African governments comes in. So we're signing partnerships with 14 different governments. And really, we're, we're, we're working with them to make sure that they do get a fair and balanced market where they get several different companies in, so they get competition, and the, the consumers in, in um, some of the most remote places on earth actually benefit from the competition, therefore, uh, and making sure there's a, a fair and level playing field. So, so that's where, if you like, the good administration, the, the British government backing this, and working with our partners in Africa, that's where that all comes in, to make sure it's fair for everybody. Is there a statistic that we can put, put on uh, in this little Energy Africa project? Well, look, at the moment you've got like two thirds, two out of three Africans without power, that's over 600 million people. Let's solve that and let's solve it quickly in the next 15 years. Okay. All right, thanks for joining us. Thank you.